Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Nino Sport. This is Blackpool Youth Korea Mode. Uh, I'm so angry. I didn't get a chance to show you the game against Liverpool because of load shedding. Stupid load shedding. I think South Africa need to sort that problem. When I was busy playing, uh, I did. I played the first game and I finished it. When I was playing the last game, it just um, the load shedding start and then my Xbox just switch off. Then when I try to copy the video out it didn't work out didn't want to cope the video was like corrupted or something then it didn't work so that's why i don't have that match with me but today we're gonna have the final episode of this um season one of blackpool korea mode it's gonna be the season finale the season one finale Hopefully you're gonna enjoy the highlights and everything. We played a couple of games. So far we're still undefeated. We're still chasing that invincible record. Hopefully we're gonna get it, but it's not gonna be easy. As you can see, we beat Liverpool, so we are in the semi-finals of the cup. Hopefully we can do well there as well. But the problem is we are facing Man City in the semi-finals. That's the huge problem. As you can see, Man City semi-finals. It's gonna be tough. It's gonna be hard few games to go through if we win all of them we are invincible we currently have 121 points sitting on top there is no way we are losing it now we already declared the champions so we are gonna be in the championship next season all the thing all the question the big question now is are we gonna be in the europa league as well because if we win the fa cup we are in the europa league. with only youth players that's gonna be massive we're gonna struggle but i will be happy for the for their experience sort of so i've been talking for more than two minutes now guys enjoy the highlights and hopefully you're gonna love them please leave that like and then subscribe if you're new and share on your social media thank you enjoy the highlights And hello from the city of Portsmouth, welcome to Fratton Park. My name is Derek Ray, and I'm joined for commentary by Lee Dixon. And a good looking ball, and he's clear his lines, might be able to get in behind the defence. Goalkeeper's ball, the cross delivered too close to him. And with that, the first half draws to a close. Might be the moment to get them ahead. It's there for him. We wondered if a goal was forthcoming, but it has arrived now. Well, finally the deadlock has been broken. Not long to go now. How will that affect the opposition? As you can see, the visitors don't have too much of the ball, but they won't mind. They're winning this game. And why? Because they're counter-attack. He must finish! sequence denied by the bar back in turn is do you win the game they've done that i'll hit the woodwork his teammates be very pleased with that what a perfect day for football we've got here alan smith alongside me martin tyler for the commentary well confirmation as if it's needed really everyone knows now and he could get away here can't stop him. The big hitters have hit again. They go in front with their attacking prowess. No one's surprised here. It's just a matter of who's going to score the goals. You know they are going to score. And they've got so many different ways of breaking down the opposition. And give his opponents an open goal. 19 minutes, please. This could be it. Can he do it? Well, they're waltzing through again. So much attacking confidence, another goal, they're two up now. All the prospects here are of more goals to come. What that? Needs to say cool. And there it is! Sean Scout threads it through. Through. That's 
to be very quick. The keeper there. He's through. The interception is a vital one. There we are, final whistle. Well, it is the fixture that they say is the worst one to lose. That's the FA Cup semi-final, of course. But everyone wants to win it. They'll go to Wembley if they do. Stay with us. We'll have all the action for you here on EA TV, and it's live. Welcome to you all to Wembley Stadium. I'm Martin Tyler, I'm joined by Alan Smith. Well, here's an opportunity with the ball over the top. There must be something on now. It's a sensational goal for the underdogs. Well, look at his face. On to Sergio Aguero. Bernardo Silva. It's a shot. He's blocked that one. Aguero! There's the equaliser. And a really good start to the game. It's always thrilling when both teams show that they can score in a match. It's Aguero. That's a wonderful save at full stretch. De Bruyne. Aguero! That's a good goal for them. And they have been playing well. No one can really complain about them taking the lead here. They have been much the better side. It's De Bruyne. Aguero! It's almost as if he was promising and then broke down. We're seeing at the moment is Manchester City being worked very. We could be in. And then the shot go. They couldn't stop him the first time. They haven't stopped him the second time. And he's leading his team in the best possible way with two goals today. And who's going to get to the final is going to be decided in the second half today. He's closed down. Forward well. Great chance to go in front. Are we going to get an upset here? Well, they've given themselves a chance by taking the lead. Well, this could go down as one of the biggest shots. Can't believe it. Easy in possession. Is this game set and match? How you win a semi-final, it's just that you win, and they have this. Hello, good evening to you, wherever you are. The first piece of news to bring you is the fact that the heavens have opened, and then the party can really start it earnestly. Yeah, absolutely, the party can start. They've got 90 minutes of football to play yet, though. But... Must score! There it is, and just the ideal start. Green space to run into. And the cross into the middle. And a half deck clearance. Almost what you might call a jaw dropping save. Oh, he's got no right to make that save. It's absolutely fantastic. And he's fired over the corner. It's in. And looking really relaxed and confident. And not giving the opposition much of a look in. Is looking through ball. Well, that was anything but a textbook header lead. They're not front. They're really causing problems. And they could get one back here. Almost unbelievably, he's kept it up. Useful looking ball. Can they? Intelligent threaded pass here. It's got to be. And a goal. Not over just yet. Pass. He's just got to continue his run. Oh, stellar defensive work to get back and win possession. Plenty of players waiting in the middle. The final whistle. 
whistle and you can hear exactly what the fans think about the red card. Hello everyone, the weather forecast has promised us a very pleasant day for football. Nothing in it, Derek, is there? Just testing each other out tactically, it's fascinating. Who will buckle first? He's waiting in the middle, this should have possibilities. And it is the opening goal of the contest. Well, it was always going to be a tight game, but now all of a sudden one team ahead. Things have got to change on both sides. Going well. It should be. He's got to score. And there it is, the goal they wanted for security. They lead by two now. They can breathe that fifth dish in this time. And scope for the cross. Pretty routine there for the goalkeeper. Taught him. <laughs> giving him a different dot. It has to be. Almost what you might call a jaw-dropping save. He lets that in. There goes the final whistle, and the glue now envelops the fans. I say that because they failed to make it into the playoffs league. A wonderful scene here at Wembley. An ocean of fans descending upon the stadium for what promises to be an absolutely riveting FA Cup final. Stay tuned, we'll have all the action for you live here on EA TV. Gabriel Sidibe in the fullback positions. Gilfi Sigurdsson plays with Andre Gomes in central midfield. Keeper's contribution, but what next? A huge asset to the team. Oh, And it's gone out of play. Oh, that's a splendid piece of challenging. Excellent ball over the top. Can't miss, surely. And a goal! The first of the contest. Well, it's always best to get your nose in front in the final. Really puts the pressure on the opposition. CD Bay, the delivery. The half bait clearance. There might well be scope for them to counter attack here. Oh, lovely weighted ball. They might be in. And he's through. And a goal it is. They lead by two now. Fully deserved. Enjoying space. Turning inside. Where is he going to go? Tremendous block. Continues to make hay. Excellent vision. A really top notch piece of defending. Good vision. Can he get onto this? It could be the big moment for him. Oh, that's a goal at the wrong end. Defender's nightmare. An own goal here. Let's have a look at that again. All these decided that two additional minutes are in order. Look at Dinia. Peterson. And the final whistle. The cut issue is settled. A story of one side celebrating and the other. I had a brilliant episode, man. I really enjoyed that one. Please, guys, please, let's get this to 20 likes, man an amazing episode yes we are the champions of the fa cup it was easy to beat everton i thought it, I, I, I didn't think it was gonna be that easy but looking at the clubs that we face liverpool man city we managed to beat them everton were always gonna be like lesser of a competition to us then not so in a way of uh, if you look at the league but uh, in a style of play we saw fast going forward. I'm taking advantage of that. The game is broken, so I'm going to take advantage of it. You can blame me for it, but I'm going to take advantage of it. If you see an opportunity, you take it. You don't leave it. Um, what also happened in this episode, I'm so like flabbergasted about it, man. Um, lost the game against Tremonet. Can you believe it? The team that is, was in the relegation scramble. They are the only team that beat us. I don't know who we drew with, but we have one draw and one loss in the league. 
of which is, is really not good. As you can see, I'm watching my boss celebrate. They are celebrating their success in the cup. It's brilliant. It's nice. I really appreciate what they did to me. But the problem is, if we go to the Europa League, are we going to sign defenders? Because in my youth scout, I'm not getting any defenders. That's the problem. If I'm getting a defender, it's either a right back or a left back. No center backs at all. I might be forced to sign a teenager, a young center back. Like a teenager, maybe with great potential. I don't know. I, I'm still thinking about it. I'm still thinking about it, but I'm not going to change the formation next season as well. I'm going to continue with the 5-3-2 that I'm playing. It's really doing well. We managed to hold the opponents and then we catch them on the counter with our speed going forward because we don't have much numbers going forward, but the speed is helping us. Though the wingbacks do go forward more often, but yeah, we need more numbers going forward. Uh, with pace though, it just close that little bit of a gap that we don't need much numbers because if we go forward with so much numbers then we're gonna be opened at the back then they hit us on the counter they beat us so it's better if we keep it balanced hopefully we can survive championship with only the youth players that we have so far maybe i would sign few teenagers i don't know i already don't know right now because the situation that i'm in i just sent another scouts out trying to find the defenders in Denmark and in Ghana as well. Hopefully, I will get some defenders. I don't know, man. We will see. But please, guys, leave a like on this one and share it on your social media. Subscribe if you're new. Thank you so much for being with me in this journey. The first season is over. Looking forward to the second season. We are in the championship. Can't wait to be in the Premier League. But we might have to stay a little bit longer in the championship because we are playing our youth our youth squad only which means we can struggle a little bit as i already sold like a whole lot of players the mature players that we find in this team i think the only person who's left is sparing hardy of which i think hardy will go because he's a top goal scorer he's not a top goal scorer but he's like second on the list so he will go he was brilliant i think he will go away so yeah that's the case so far I uh, hope you enjoyed the episode. Please, please like, share, and subscribe if you know. I love you all. Bye.